Okay, slight change of plan. Well, I've got the video camera set up. It makes more sense to cut it out right here so you can see everything that I'm doing. Ah, oh, ooh, boy, I wrenched my shoulder right there. Okay. I'm gonna cut, yeah, you can see that. I'm gonna cut it down here, along here. And I don't know if I have to go all the way up. Maybe. Okay. So I got I got my battery operated drill. I'm putting my paddle bit in it, three quarter inch paddle bit. And I'm just gonna drill a hole through this. Sawzall that I could probably drill another hole over here. That's going to go right through to the other side. I should have I should have wore my clear goggles, but. I forgot them upstairs in the garage. Okay. Now I can take my Sawzall and I can use this really super long blade in here. And this is pretty cool. Back in the old days, I had a Sawzall. It had a cord on it and you had to you had to put this in and use an Allen wrench, but now this you just pull on the side. This is how most sawzalls are. Pull on the side and that opens up the hole in there. And then you can put it in. And in the old days, see, so I have that the blade is facing down and it's closer here, but you can flip it around. And in the old days, lots of lots of sawzalls, you couldn't put the blade that way. You had to flip it around and put it that way. And see how if you wanted to cut a piece of uh, bottom plate, let's say, and you had concrete, you've got the whole saw and you'd have to cut at an angle like that. And pretty soon you're only using the tip from here until there and the tip gets worn out. And so I always like to put it this way. Then you can get, see, you can cut right down flat to something or up to the sides or whatever. And I just charged up this battery. This thing, this thing is pretty powerful. I never would have thought a battery operated Sawzall would really be very strong, but I think this is gonna work really good. So see, with the long blade, I can hold it right up against the side of this, can I? Now the blade that, that it came with, um, I just stored it in here with these others. I actually, it actually came with two blades. Came with this one. This one's kind of short and it's designed for wood. Oh, this, this would rip you up. See that? That'll rip you up. And then um, they also gave me a, a, a fine one, like a hacksaw blade to cut metal and stuff. I just didn't bring it down here. And see, that was the only one they gave gave me. And so see, I can't cut all the way. I could use this. I just have to go up at an angle. And so I can do I can do it with this too. It's just the saw the the USB, I'm going to be cutting at an angle all the way, and like I say, that'll work. But I'm going to wondering. This is a pretty old blade. It's I don't know how sharp it is. 
but I'm gonna try that. Yeah, that's never gonna work. It's old. Sharp down here because most of the time you don't use this much over here. You're you're cutting right in there. So whenever you get a chance to use something like this, you want to get in there and use the rest of this edge of the blade too. You know, but I think I'm gonna end up deciding against that and using the blade they gave me. Okay. Had another one this size. Uh, a few of them in here. This one was pretty sharp too. And I've used it before. And sometimes I like to save save new ones, but I've got a couple other new ones over here. I think I'm good with this one. Okay, I put some um, I put some toilet paper in my ears for earplugs, and it's always a good idea. I've got some other earplugs too, but. Toilet paper works just as well, and I should have some eyewear on, but I, I'm pretty good right here where I'm at, I think. And this also has a safety, so see, I can't push on there unless I push the side, to push that side button in first. Either way, if I'm right or left-handed, just push it in, then once it starts going, I can let go of that. Now that's pretty slick, Ryobi. Home Depot, baby. And this came, this came actually with the charger, two of these lithium batteries. It came with this drill here. This is a nice drill. Here's my battery here. And um, it also came with, uh, with a flashlight, a nice flashlight that I could have used that down here and propped it up and the head swivels. And what else did it come with? It came with a, uh, a little saw, a circular saw with like a six inch blade on it. And I use that in a pinch whenever, whenever needed. Look for that at Home Depot, by the way. Sometimes they give good prices for that. You buy a whole kit like that. And it's a lot cheaper than buying them individually. I'm, I'm looking here to see. Yep, it's still on. We're still going. Okay, I'm just going to cut this up here. <laughs> I need to cut it. Oh, I should be wearing my gloves too. Actually, uh, I think I do have some rubber gloves that I usually carry with me. And these, um, you've seen these at the, the hardware store. These are a little bit thinner than uh, uh, some other rubber gloves, and I, I could have used the other rubber gloves too. And sometimes you, you'll find them, you can find them in a tin pack or something for pretty cheap. Okay, so I wonder if I can just cut it there, if I should go all the way. Maybe I should go all the way down. Well, I think I'm hitting a nail here. I should, have, I should have drilled the hole down lower. So I'll just get this out and drill one down here. Okay, that way, that way I got a starter point. I could, I could go way down there and then, and then back and forth, but this is easier. See, that 
that hole there, I probably so I bent this just slightly. I just bend it back a little bit. I should have drilled that closer. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do. Um, I'll do the top now. And I'm just. I'm just gonna eyeball that, or actually, I could take my pencil and I could measure that if I want. Five inches. Five inches. Five inches. I just kind of. At least I got a something, you know, kind of sh to shoot for. Doesn't have to be perfect down here. Now that I'm cutting flat, I'm going to take. I'm going to take. Now I'm cutting flat here. I'm going to take full advantage of the rest of this blade here. So I'm going to push it in all the way. Um, so like I can extend the life of this blade because most of the time You're gonna cut from here down to about there depending on what you're cutting because like here at the angle I'm only using half the blade Three-quarters of the blade or, or less so up here. I'm gonna take advantage of the rest of this to extend the life of my blade come down and I probably won't even use that hole I can clean this up here just to get a happy Happy medium on, on straightness is all. Because once I take this out, I'm just gonna leave it out, I think. Okay. Go some more here. Ah. feel comfortable that way flip this around try it the other way okay. get you under there with me. I'm going to re uh, transfer my light. Ah, they missed that one, didn't they? I'm going to get my light in here. Get my camera set up in here. We're going to take it. We're going to take a look at this and see if we've got any issues under here okay stick with me this is our first step on checking out underneath the stairs to see if we have to do anything under here to fix those those floor tiles on the deck and you, you're also learning other stuff how to use a sawzall how to use the drill with the paddle bit how to cut something open like this and all that okay Think I can get through here? I think I can. <laughs> <laughs> 